Lots of strange and bizarre creatures live in the swamp, but none hold a candle to this swamp creature with a strangely appropriate name. What was that? Swamp gas? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Man Ding. This guy looks like he needs business. Ah! Ah! Whatever knows fear burns at the Man Thing's touch. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 2008's Dead of Night featuring Man Thing, numbers 1 to 4. The swamp creature known as Man Thing debuted in 1971 but his origin story gained in complexity over the years. The version that was finally put forth in 2008 brought many of the various strands together. As the story began, biologist slash chemist Ted Salas was working in the swamps of Florida with his fiance, Ellen Brandt, and a colleague, Eric Schist. Ted Salas was my elder. He knew this land was sacred. When Schist took it, drove his pumps into it, ran his pipes through it, it was the end. As far as Ted knew, they were working together for the US government. They were one of many groups trying to recreate the famous super soldier serum that turned the ordinary Steve Rogers into the extraordinary Captain America. Unfortunately, Ted had been lied to. He was actually working for AIM, a terrorist group seeking the formula for their own nefarious purposes. Eric and Ellen both knew this and they were simply playing Ted for a patsy. And Ted would have been none the wiser except for one thing. He stumbled upon some grotesquely mutated humans who turned out to be the victims of Eric's illegal experiments. Ted confronted Eric, who gloatingly told the scientist how he had been used. In retaliation, Ted knocked Eric unconscious and escaped into the swamp with the formula. Unfortunately, Ellen was hot on his trail and she shot him before he could get very far. Sinking into the swamp, Ted hastily downed as much of the serum as he could, the rest spilling on and around him. Ellen assumed that he was dead. However, the combination of the serum and the biological life in the swamp served to change Ted into a massive monstrous creature, the Man-Thing. Man-Thing freed the mutants that Eric had created and then made quick work of Eric. He intended to kill Ellen more slowly, but stopped after releasing an acidic poison that disfigured her. Still maintaining some of his humanity, Man-Thing was distraught with what he had done, and he turned and fled before finishing the job. Along the way, Man-Thing hooked up with some new friends. A young boy named Andy Kale befriended him, as did his sister Jennifer. Both turned out to possess magical powers and provided valuable assistance to the lumbering Man-Thing. Thanks Man-Thing, just make sure you put me down before Dracula sees me like this. Man-Thing also learned how to regenerate. He could transport his essence out of one body and grow another to support it. This ability came in handy when Ellen returned with some of her allies from AIM to hunt down the Man-Thing. Working with Jennifer, Man-Thing was able to lure Ellen into a trap by using one of his discarded bodies. Once he had Ellen close at hand, Man-Thing realized that he couldn't afford to let her go. He simply absorbed her into his body, consuming her flesh and bones and making them part of himself. And so, the threat against him was over temporarily. Man-Thing's massive strength and ability to regenerate bodies makes him a fearsome opponent, as does the acidic chemical poison which he can secrete. Plus, his bizarre appearance makes him stand out from most other superpowered beings, even in the Marvel Universe. His near immortality makes him seemingly impossible to kill, and it seems that the Man-Thing will always be a recurring character in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> Are you a fan of the eerie swamp creature called Man-Thing? Ah, oh, the Man-Thing's cool. A gentle swamp creature unless he's provoked. For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Man Thing? I think the Man Thing speaks for all of us.